hi guys it has been ages since i did an empties video definitely not since i moved into this new house i think because i threw away so much stuff in the declutter pre-move i obviously got rid of everything that i was saving all the junk and all the rubbish and all the used up stuff that i really didn't need to be keeping so um this is stuff that i've accumulated since we moved all things that i brought with me that were like half empty um and i thought i would do my first empties in the new place so um, number one, I'm going to tell you about this, but it hasn't quite been used up yet. I have a few days before I go on holiday and I, um, although I'll be on holiday by the time you see this, I wanted to talk about it before I get to throw it away whilst, um, or before I go, because I, I didn't want to save it for like another however many months it's going to be till the empties video. So this is the Declior Micellar Oil, which cleanses and removes makeup. Um, I don't know how much this is. It was sent to me. I'm guessing a lot. It wasn't that great. I am not super, super impressed with it. If it had been kind of from L'Oreal or, you know, a cheaper product and I'd have gone, yeah, it did the job, it was okay. But I feel like from a brand like Declior, I want to be wowed and it didn't really wow me. Another cleanser that I used up, which I do love, is the Ole Henriksen Pru, <laughs> Pru, Pru, I can't talk, Pure Truth Melting Cleanser. And this is a three-in-one cleanser jelly. It's awesome, I really, really like this stuff, but it's really expensive. I've had two of these in a row now, and um, I think they're around 25 pounds, I wanna say. It's, whatever it is, it's really expensive for the amount that you actually get. It's really difficult to not use too much. You don't need very much, um, but it's easy to use too much, and then it, it just doesn't last. If this is gonna last me a month, I can't be spending 25 pound on a cleanser, that's crazy. So you only really need kind of a fingertip amount. You spread it all over your face like a gel, it spreads really well but it has to be dry, super dry face. And then you take it off with a hot cloth, as you would imagine. However, the amount of time that I've got in the bath, I'm going, oh, I need to cleanse my face, reached for it, everything's already wet. I have to dry my face and my hands as much as possible because once it gets wet, it kind of becomes, it just dissolves, which is the purpose. But if you've got any kind of moisture on your hands or your face, it doesn't really do what it's supposed to do. So that's my only issue with it. It's why it works, but it's also what makes it slightly less practical. Um, and so I love it, but I may try and find another one that I like as much that's maybe a little bit easier to use in the way that I want to use it. When, when it's optimum conditions, fantastic. My skin feels amazing, but it's really expensive and I want to find a different one that's not so expensive. Talking of expensive, Creme Decor from Kiehl's bought this um, duty-free coming home from New York last summer and honestly i don't know why i bought it because it smells like like marzipan or no not mar well a little bit like marzipan but like i think maybe it's the honey i don't really like the scent of it at all i liked the texture it was whipped and it took me a while to use it up but that's more because i didn't want to because i didn't love the scent of it it doesn't absorb very quickly so it's a very very heavy moisturizer i just didn't love it i definitely won't be purchasing it again because it is super expensive um, and I didn't really see the hype that was surrounding it. I was really excited to try it, finally got it, wasn't wowed. Which is kind of, I feel like it's the theme so far. Um, I picked up another one, this is so gross, it's like the most dusty in my house. Because it's a new build, there's dust all the time. Excuse me. Um, constantly, because there's always building work outside and somehow it managed to get into the house. Constant dust, we're hoovering and dusting constantly. And this is like, this isn't even that old, it's a couple of weeks maybe it's been in my bathroom. That is gross. So yeah. Mm. Um, the Lee Stafford treatment for hair that never grows past a certain length. I used this again recently. It is a nice conditioner, it's a nice kind of treatment for the ends of my hair. I may buy it again if it's on sale, whether or not it does anything to grow your hair, I don't know. Um, but I do, I love the smell of the Lee Stafford stuff and I would purchase again if it's on offer. But it's expensive um, when it's full price, around £10 or something full price, which is... Nah. Um, I feel like everything is going to be the same thing, although I quite liked this. Aromatherapy Associates Inner Strength Candle. I'm a huge fan of Aromatherapy Associates. This, this scent, I'm kind of, I go back and forth over. It's a very, very strong scent. So on the one hand, it's really strong. And if you don't like it, you really like just stay away. Don't think, oh, maybe I'll learn to love it because it's a very, very strong scent. Um, I still love the Deep Sleep one. I would buy the Deep Sleep Candle in a heartbeat. But this is, I don't know, I think I prefer the oil. The oil feels a little bit softer, whereas the candle is a really, um, almost like abrasively strong scent. But, expensive as these candles are, you only need to burn them for maybe 10, 15 minutes. 
and it, the, the scent really, really travels. It is awesome. So this has lasted me quite a while. I mean, I say I don't like it, but I can't stop smelling it. It is, the aromatherapy element of it totally does work. I have tried multiple different oils from the brand and I do think that they either calm you down or make you sleepy or energize you. There's something to that. Um, I'm just not 100% sure about that particular candle, but the candles in general, I do think are worth the money if you want to spend the money on that kind of thing, because they could last you a really long time using them the way that I did. Um, Garnier Pure Active Blemish, Anti-Blemish, uh, Blemish, you know, Anti-Blemish Soap Free Gel Wash. I used the absolute last bits of this. I'm sure I've got another one somewhere and I cannot find it, which is driving me nuts. I'm going to have to buy another one. So I really like this as my second cleanse. So I use my, like my balm, this or the oil or whatever it is I'm taking my makeup off with. And then I use this as my second cleanse. Um, most gel washes that I'd use were really drying. This I found to be not drying at all, not necessarily moisturizing, but or like hydrating, but it, it didn't make my skin feel tight or dry at all. So would highly recommend this if you have got blemish prone skin and are looking to stay away from that kind of really, really harsh um, blemish treatments. I talked about this so much. I did do a sponsored video about it, but I'm still using it and love it. In fact, where is it? Found it. I've got the dregs left in the bottom of this one. This is the clarifying tonic. Love this so much. I have just condensed, or not condensed, put um, a little bit into a bottle to take on holiday with me because it just keeps my skin so clear. And when I'm not using it, I notice that I break out. Whether that's a thing, you know, like once upon a time, Clinique was massively, massively popular, the three-step system. And then people started saying that there was something in it that kind of, made your skin adapt and almost reliant on it. So as soon as you stopped using it, you would break out. I'm kind of starting to wonder if that's got something to do with it because I feel like when I don't use this, I break out more than I used to when I wasn't using this, if you know what I mean. So I'm, I'm loving it. It feels really nice and it's working for my skin, but do they add something to it so that then you have to use it? You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit cynical, but can anything be that great? I don't know. I really like it though. Two masks. The um, I've never seen this one before. When I used it last week, I really liked it. Dead Sea Peel Off. I don't know what this is called. Don't they normally have a name? I don't know. It's like a blue one. It says normal and oily skin. Really, really liked that one. My skin felt very smooth after I used that. Um, I'm a dark circle reducer from Mask Bar. Talked about this to death. Love it, love it, love it. Makes my under eyes feel amazing. Definitely helps with pigmentation. Don't think it helps with dark circles, but if you want kind of a fresher and dry look, awesome, awesome, awesome. Two more things. Finally, a uh, bit of the dust, my pomegranate noir cologne, my little mini one, which I took on holiday with me. This time I'm taking a teeny tiny sample version because I don't have this anymore. If I could get one of the one of these, I would buy it straight away because this is just a super handy size. Um, and the MAC cleansing oil, which again has the very, very last bits of it in it kind of very very similar to the Declayor. They work, but they're not really worth that money, really. This is the one I used to take with me on holiday, so I've used it up over the course of the last few holidays, but I've never used it at home because it's not something that I'm like, wow, I have to use it. It's just a decent makeup remover, um, but I wouldn't buy it again because it wasn't, it wasn't exciting. Um, so that's it, that's everything I've used up recently. And um, I can't believe this is the first empties that we've had in the new place. I don't think I've been throwing things away and not sharing them because why would I do that? What kind of terrible beauty blogger would I be if I threw away things that had been used up? I've been saving them. And then Lee's been just driven insane because over the past week I've been collecting things around the house and all of the, um, what is it called? Windowsill in the bathroom has been cluttered with basically rubbish. I promised him I would film the video today, so he's gonna be just over the moon when he comes home and uh, sees that little space in the bathroom clear again. Um, but that's it. Hope you've enjoyed it. I will try and list everything I've talked about below. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys probably at this point when I come back from holiday, although I may have a fun video coming up. Look out for that. Quite excited about it, maybe. We'll see. See you in the next one.